Hello, welcome back, Familia Army. Today I'm reacting to Face, an album or EP from our Jimin. <laughs> Finally, I'm excited for this. It's his solo piece, and I obviously already heard Set Me Free Part 2. Haven't heard other songs though, so you know. I'm excited! Before we're gonna listen to this though, I want to read what the official big hit or Jimin statement about this album was and it says Face the reflection of myself in an unfamiliar appearance, face of facing the deepest part of inner self, an echo, tremor and small movement to reach you. Waves originated from the deepest invisible inner world, pass through the face on the surface and reach others to resonate while transmitting the inner voice. Wave spreads beautifully, finding its own flow despite wounds and distortions from a smallest scratch. The face of unwavering effort despite repeated falls and pain. I mean... Do we need to say anything else? <laughs> well, I don't think so. So let's just listen to this. Of course, I just want to let you know I have Patreon. I'm gonna do like uh, extra content for Jimin as well. Like he was in Jimmy Fallon, the behind the scenes shooting sketches, etc. Go check it out there if you want. Also, if you're new, subscribe, like the video, and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's it. Let's hear the first track, which is Face Off. Oh, and by the way, like I didn't find any other videos that would have like a lyric translation, you know, English lyric translation. So I have to use this one, you know, because I could easily like just read while listening to the song. But I want you guys to see the English translation too. So, you know, I have the lyrics like um, better translation here just in case uh, so I can read it. But yeah, this is what we can use. What? Carnival music? Okay! We are here for a ride! <laughs> Damn! His voice, but also I can't believe how this style suits him. Oh my god, wait. Oh. Oh. I love this range. I love this style, I love this R&B soulful thing he's doing. Oh. This is so perfect. This pre-chorus. I never think he would be so great at in 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 a track like this. Wow! I like. Bro, like I said, like, I feel like I'm getting to know Jimin is showing us his full potential right now in genres, in songs I haven't seen before. And it's funny how, you know, listening, for example, to Zayn Malik, if you know what kind of songs or music he does, you'll know he does this type of genre as well, of R&B. And I always thought, Tay... Hey, and Zane could like in my imaginary world could possibly make a song together but like hearing this but that's just like um uh, you know my dream collaborations that uh I don't know if they'd happen one day 
but it's like you know i never what i'm trying to say is like i never made never thought that jimin would soothe this genre so much i love this song i want to go like just vibe and dance but then i'm also like hearing the lyrics and it's like um gosh let's just cry together <laughs> It's it's pretty sad and it's pretty like I can feel his frustration singing this song and you know it could be about someone uh but it's also possibly at the end of the day just him and his inner selves and struggles and demons it always comes to that at the end of the day and that's what also you know is description of this EP also let's talk about that that beginning like the transition into the song wow it sets the tone the beginning you know it's kind of like a yeah it's fun music but there's also kind of something you know dark about it that's telling you okay okay you know um we're about to discover really something uh but yeah let's go to this interlude die wow i love the face of song This is very meaningful right now. Tonight I don't wanna be sober. Okay. That was a good interlude. I love the, the way it was put together. We see kind of the contrasts of Jimin's life. Bright and dark sides. Ups and downs. Happy and sad memories. Hectic life. And then just being alone with a drink. Gulping down. Wow, this is musically... <sighs> I love where, where this is going. I think it's put very well together, but let's continue because I'm very uh, interested. Where is he gonna go next? It's like a journey right now, right? But we have a music video because this is a single like crazy. So let's go. I'm gonna try to comment at the end and just enjoy it now. Oh. I'm afraid that everything will disappear. Just Hypnotizing me right now. he's going to a different direction than everybody else and oh my god synth pop plus jimin perfection right now is he doing all these new styles that fit him so much musically speaking
these shots of Jimin's face because it's face the album face face yourself face off face <laughs> Is this the, the, the girl? He's facing her. My reflection in the mirror. Is this his reflection? This is filmed so good. What the This hair guy in a suit, Sam. right now because look at how this is shot Was he dreaming all of this? What does the mud mean? Let me google something. There are several meanings when dreaming mud. So I have three interpretations. If you dream about black mud, you are mentally tired. It may be a reflection of how you have been contaminated by the negative attitudes of people around you. It can symbolize insecurity. It means there is blessing on you, but you are emotionally or spiritually reluctant to accept it. Or someone in your close circle will disappoint you to the point that you lose trust in that person. In general, this type of dream shows the process that will begin and ultimately the trust has been lost. I can actually see all of these three meanings relating to that but i also feel like there's a fourth explanation that i am not currently getting it what i do get from this song is kind of oh again this contrast like the feeling of euphoria of intoxication of kind of psychedelic feel to the song which then is contrasted by you can say dysphoria, kind of feelings of loneliness, sadness, discomfort. It also has theme of like escaping reality, which is oftentimes with partying and drinking or a painful realization of losing someone and not wanting to wake up from that dream and that someone could be like another romantically involved person. But I'm very like, very... Uh, with this album, because it's its name is uh, Face, and because of what description says, I do think that at the end it all comes to him and his different faces and his like struggles and his different reflections, which he also uh, mentions in the song in the lyrics. But overall, the song <laughs> is very catchy. It's a synth pop. It suits Jimin so much. Love the different. Uh, vocal expressions used in this song. I'm loving this for him right now. And it's a story. It's a story. It keeps evolving. And right now I want to go to the next song, which is Alone. Ooh, I sense it's gonna like slow down. <gasps> Did he actually wake up? Like... If we continue from previous song and now he's gonna be depressed or like he's gonna like oh. Wow. How many 
vocals are layered here, but the the different ranges is low register. Doesn't he have a song line? <laughs> The So some sort of chaos preparing. Yeah, we go to the Set Me Free Part 2. Oh my god, this EP or this album is such a story. It's so neat, right? Because it, it makes sense why it's gonna go to Set Me Part Set Me Free Part 2. Now it's the lowest moment, right? Now it's him facing the darkness and wanting that darkness to like go go out of this darkness. The production of this song does a good uh, job of like portraying the loneliness Jimin is thinking about. I feel, I feel this inner battle that he was experiencing and, you know, while assuring that everything is okay to others and to himself, um, possibly he's lying to himself that everything is okay. And the end kind of indicated that, that now we're gonna go to the point where he's gonna finally come out of this and then it set me free. I love how he sang this song. I want to hear more of this Jimin, but also the other two songs. Wow, I can't believe how many different sides he's showing us. He really outdid himself and again, he didn't take safe path. Now, despite the fact that I heard Set Me Free Part 2, it's gonna be different hearing the song within a, like, complete project that this EP is. This is the turning point. at me now. I won't hide anymore even if it hurts. Raise your hands for the past me. It all makes it sense so much more right now. My prime time. Hmm. 
it hits different and I have new appreciation for this song because now I recognize it as part of the process, bigger process that Jimin went through. Yeah, after listening to the other songs, it's much more impactful. I already liked the song before, but you know, after having this vulnerable moment, he comes back stronger, breaks free with all his strength and now he's going forward. <sighs> okay, this next song is like crazy again, but it's an English version. I'm gonna see if there is some differences in the lyrics, but um, it will also give me opportunity to hear the song again. Let's do this. I think we can last forever. It's beginning with whispering. What he says, trusting is the beginning of something. Disappoint, not disappointment, but beginning of like torture. <laughs> Trust me. It's also very catchy! Like you immediately... It's here! Yeah, it feels psychedelic this song, I feel like... Ah, this part! This part, it's so... It gives me chills. get out of this and this is supposed to be the end of the ep but there's a hidden track that it's called leather and i know it's supposed to be for the fans who buy the physical album but for just you know i i need to hear the song and i know that if i would post my reaction without the song you guys would have told me either way that i should listen to this so i just decided i'm gonna add it and i heard jungkook is on this song as well he's like backing vocals or something <sighs> let's go <laughs> oh. here is the mellow jimin Wait, what just happened? 
is a letter to army, isn't it? I hear you, Jungkook. Ends the same way. Aww. This was really personal and beautiful and touching and warming and gentle. And you know, a love letter. Literal love letter. You you can like easily interpret it as you know to someone romantically but i can also see it as a letter to army most of the lyrics are very like could be double interpretation double meaning but then there are like some lyrics which makes me think yeah this, this sounds like to army leather army leather wow i just can't believe you know we have so many i mean this is like this is a short this is ep but every song is different. He expresses himself artistically and creatively in these songs. Such a neat project. He faces the deep parts of himself and it was shown very good in these songs with with the lyrics. The lyrics were very well written. It feels like he was feeling something and just he wrote it down. And exactly like it was the disappointment and the result is this emotional journey of self-discovery there's a lot of gloominess and chaos and dark thoughts but ultimately is about overcoming his internal battles and we we get that with set me free which is really important it's just that the process is well it's probably long and painful but we got this condensed in in a pretty like short um time truly it's very applauding how he just bears his soul his emotion in this ep and like i said shows very different sides of him not only with lyrics but artistically again i think i'm like repeating myself at this point also i figured out that he uses his vocal range to show different personas but also different moods this song needed to be sang with this gentle higher voice but it contrasts for example face off and alone so much and face off is just this pure anger frustration like let it out tonight i don't want to be sober like just let let me let me drown myself in it right it's different moods with his vocals not only like with the melody or whatever other tools he uses and it's really <laughs> it's really impressive he has a voice where he can do that right it's not uh, very often I see this. I think my favorite, I mean, this song, Letter, is very touching, but I think my favorite song is actually Face Off. Although it's very, you know, there are few songs, so it's almost like impossible to rank them. Because if there would be like a song that I would be like less impressed, it would be easier. But I just like all of them. Sincerely, I like all of them. But what did you think? I'd love to like hear your opinions, interpretations. Comment down below. I'm gonna now go to Jimmy Fallon interview, shooting sketches and dance practice on Patreon. If you're interested, like I said, check it out. If you can, of course, like the video and see you soon for more BTS or Jimin. But Jimin, I have to say, this was a project that deserves five stars. <laughs>